I have brought with me a picture of a heart today. And I want you to tell me the one word that comes to your mind when you see this picture. Think if you used it in text speak, if you used it as an emoji, what it would mean. Love, that's what I was thinking of. And each and every one of you loves so many people. Can you tell me some of the people that you love? You'd be very careful because some of them are sitting right next to you. <laughs> I hope that would be your first answer. Well, your, your parents, obviously. What about your best friends? What about your brothers and sisters when they've not been really, really annoying? <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of people that we love. But what about the people who are mean to us? Do we love them? Well, actually, the passage that we're going to be looking at later on, Jesus tells us that is what we have to do. We have to love our enemy. So somewhere else, in another passage, he explains this further. And he says, you have heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemy. That's a very, very hard thing for us to do. But what Jesus is trying to do is to tell us that love always overcomes evil. And that's a very important lesson. So when somebody does something that's bad to us, instead of trying to retaliate and trying to get revenge for what they did, what we have to do is show love. And the way we can do that is to pray for our enemies. And Jesus tells us when we do that, then we can become children of our Father in heaven. That, I think, is a great reason to love our enemies.